Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can deploy very large language models like Falcon 40B using Hugging Faces inference endpoints. So inference endpoints offers a secure production solution to easily deploy any Hugging Face transformers, sentence transformers and diffusion models from the hub. Basically, you can deploy anything you want, but I'll go into that in another video. And uh, you can deploy on dedicated and auto scaling infrastructure, which is fully managed by Hugging Face. The inference endpoints are secure and compliant, means you can deploy in production. You can have um, you can have a protected uh, endpoint, which is available from internet and requires a valid Hugging Face token. You can also deploy a private endpoint that is only available through an intra-region secured AWS or Azure private link connection and private endpoints are not accessible from the internet. And obviously you can deploy public endpoints that you can play with uh, or just protected endpoint that you can play with at home um, or build some really nice cool projects around it. So uh, let's get started. Uh, all you have to do is you have to go to your Hugging Face page, log in, click on solutions, and then there you go, inference endpoints. So this is my inference endpoints page. I hope you can see. This is the model that I was using in my previous video. If you haven't seen it, you can see it now, in which we create a PDF chatbot using Falcon 40B and Falcon 7B. So all you have to do is go click on new endpoint. So I clicked on new endpoint and here it is asking me to choose a model from model repository. So let's deploy the same Falcon 40B instruct model again. And you can give your endpoint name. I think this name is fine for me. You can choose where you want to deploy Microsoft Azure or AWS. So uh, you have options for different regions available. In AWS, I have got two for this particular model. I have got a bunch of instances on which I can deploy. I can also deploy an NVIDIA A100 GPU or 4X NVIDIA Tesla T4. And uh, basically here we are done, but you also have advanced configuration in which you can specify auto scaling feature. The task task has already been selected based on the model, which is a text generation task. And we are fine with it. You, we are running the model with a PyTorch framework. We can also define a revision for the repository that we have chosen. But in this case, we don't have to do that. Uh, we can scale to zero. So after 15 minutes of no activity, it will automatically pause your endpoint. And when there is a new request in the endpoint, it will initialize a new replica. Um, so you don't pay if your endpoint is not being used. So what is the container type? The container type here is text generation inference. You can also have a custom uh, container type. So if you have built your own container and you put it on Docker Hub, ECR, ACR, or GCR, <laughs> you can just uh, uh, put the URL here with all the credentials and we'll download the container for you. So here in our case, text generation inference is fine. We can use int8 quantization and custom CUDA kernels. Endpoint security level. Now, if I choose a protected endpoint, I have to uh, use my hugging face token for authentication. If I choose a public endpoint, there is no authentication. I can also choose a private endpoint. And for private endpoint, which is not connected to internet, I have to input my AWS account ID so, since I'm deploying on AWS. But we'll go for the very simple approach just for the sake of this video. But do feel free to try all the other kinds of security level. Uh, protected should be generally used and private is for enterprises. Uh, protected can also be used by enterprises. It's protected. And here I have the replica uh, min one, max one. I don't need many replicas. I'm making this endpoint only for this video. And then I click on create endpoint here. You get the estimated cost. So it's going to cost me four and a half dollars per hour. I create the endpoint and now my endpoint is being created. So here you can see initializing. And if I go to logs, um, I should be able to see some logs. So I think the logs will start off sometime, but this is a Falcon 40B model. So it's going to take 
a few minutes to uh, download all the files. So I think it has already started lo loading the image artifacts from huggingface.co. Everything is fine. So here you also have docs. So if you click on docs, you, you have like auto scaling, you have pricing, you have the API inference if you want to build something custom on top of it. Access, access, accessing the solution, creating your first endpoint. I've already shown you how simple and easy it is. It's just like one click deployment and pause your and resume your endpoint. So when, once you have created your endpoint, uh, there will be a pause button here uh, using which you can pause. So if I go back to go back here to the previous endpoint that I created, so it says my endpoint has been paused and when it's paused, you are not paying anything. So if you, if, if, if you're building something for small demos, it's very useful. You can just pause it and you can just resume it whenever you want. So let's go back and right now it's in the initializing mode. So we have to wait a few seconds and once it's done, we will be able to use it. So after a few minutes, my endpoint is up and running so I can use it now. So it gives you the endpoint URL and all the other details which you had previously. You can also test your endpoint here. So it gives you like once upon a time and then it will hopefully finish it. Yeah, anyways. So, um, you also have a JSON output and you can copy the command as curl. So I will show you in my VS code now how we can test it. So here I'm in my VS code and we have the curl command that I just copy pasted from there. Uh, we don't need the token because it's not a protected endpoint that we built. It's just a normal public endpoint but if you have protected endpoint that's how you're going to authorize it so i'm just going to remove this part and see what happens and this is provided as inputs and it gives me the generated text if you also want to uh, have changed the parameters you can add a parameters param here and for that take a look at the doc it's quite simple and easy to add I will show you how you can do the same using text generation client. It's just building a request. That's it. So we have the we import client from text generation library and we build a prompt. So believe below are a series of dialogues between various people and so on. And then there is user, which is the uh, uh, which takes the query and then Falcon responds. And these are the parameters that I'm using. Feel free to change it and play around with those parameters. And then we initialize the client. And here you input the URL of the inference endpoint. Quite simple and easy. Then I built a simple loop where I'm taking the query from the user, building the prompt and sending the prompt to client.generateStream, which generates a stream of tokens. If the token is not a special token, I add it to the response text and here I print it. So let's see if this works. Um, Endpoint.py, so it's saying query. So I will say, hi Falcon, how are you? Let's see what the response is. Hey, good morning, okay, I'm well, blah, blah, blah. Seems good. Can you write code to read a CSV file in Python without pandas? Let's see if he can do that. So it has given me some response. Um, of course, here's a sample code, Python standard CSV library with open data dot C import CSV uh, with open CSV reader. Okay, so it looks fine to me. I'm not going to test it. And uh, it also courses as Python. So anyways, this is a video. This is how simple and easy it is to deploy any large language model using Hugging Faces inference endpoints. I hope you give it a try. If you like the video, do click on the like button, do subscribe and share the video with your friends. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.